feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. Everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Why are these things so fast? French on the left! already off to a lively stop. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have helped that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like... Did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <laughs> Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> <laughs> if only we were in Midgard, that water would be frozen in a second. Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but... 
Is this just different in Spotify? I lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Okay, we froze one of those guys. Is there another one somewhere? Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. <clears throat> if the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety. And defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. will turn the wheel. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hey, towards. Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please. 
There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah. Whew. Oh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say Ski Alpha. The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? <laughs> this thing you made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Sorry to bother you. If you're you. selling something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, uh, please kindly bugger off. Hello? Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words. No nothing. Leave! This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother.
Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. from up there? He we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. 
I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints. Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. Broden. Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Too. If you could... <laughs> easy. Easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. <laughs> Lanterns. Oil. For lanterns. Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. I know. Just the tail left now. Down that rope should take us where we need to go. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. right. Only better. 
better than they were. He likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. 